Hey guys, it's Megan. Happy weekend. Oh my goodness, it's been a week. It's been a hard week um, with house hunting and I'll fill you guys in more but i have this giant bag behind me this looks like an ad it's not um i just have a big bag of um things i'm sending into thread up which i've never done before but when i ordered from reformation they like sent like a bag like this that you can send through uh usps or fedex like and then you would get reformation store credit for anything that like they deem acceptable or whatever and i've been curious about thread up but i just haven't wanted to i guess sign up for it i don't really know but since i had the bag and i really love reformation and their clothes are hella expensive i was like let's see if i get any store credit for it so i have it literally full to the max capacity and so I'm gonna go and drop that off at USPS and I have two other like return things that had to go to them anyway. So I'm just gonna drop all of that off at once. But literally, it just looks like I have like a big billboard behind me of Thredda, but it just is sitting on my bed. Um, but yeah, it's been um, just a lot this week with searching for, um, where me and Alyssa are going to live in the next <laughs> month or two and we had a really really promising house I guess we still have a chance to get it but it just like the guy the landlord just like ghosted us when we were like we submitted the application we said we were ready to make the deposit and then all of a sudden he just ghosts us so um kind of weird and don't know what is gonna happen with that because it was our absolute favorite one and it just sucks to have your hopes and dreams like seems like they're right in front of you and then all of a sudden they're unattainable so um yeah we'll see we'll see with that one but definitely doesn't <laughs> put a like positive spin on it definitely brings down the mood even if we were like fortunate to get it um in the end so that's that and it's just been really like just so much stress of searching um during this time where there's so much competition and yeah so i'm trying to still be positive about it but i'm definitely not as happy-go-lucky as i was at the beginning of this week and when i told you guys about it so fortunately i just so happened to have a massage scheduled for this afternoon so i am going um to the post office and then i'm going to my massage and man oh man that came at like the perfect time i couldn't be like i couldn't have predicted needing a massage like on this day when I schedule my appointment but um it really really worked out so I'm gonna get um my normal massage and I have like a coupon for I think it was like a cold stone face massage or something I feel like that would just be super cool and kind of weird so I'm excited about that um but it actually snowed today and I haven't been outside yet so let's go out I need to carry all my stuff out and then I can show you guys how pretty I'm sure it is um I've just been working 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 and searching for apartments slash houses so haven't got to enjoy it at all so let's go try to get some relaxation and just get out of this house for a little bit i think that will help me be refreshed we got a good bit of snow not too crazy but my dad did hire someone to um shovel for us so that's pretty awesome so i just have to worry about my car post office check now i'm heading to my massage and um, while I took some time off from vlogging, I watched the um, Beatles documentary on Disney+. Plus. It is very long. It is, I think, almost nine hours long. And to be honest, 
just skip to the last hour. Like, there were some cool parts, but you have to be like a mega fan, I feel like, and I'm a pretty hardcore Beatles fan. Um, like, I've loved them for such a long time, and yeah, but it's just very, <laughs> very long, and really the last hour is the coolest part. It's their final, um, like, live performance, and they performed on the rooftop of their, like, recording studio, and they were, like, blasting it, um, so, like, all the pedestrians and stuff walking in London could hear them, and it was just really neat because they had camera people down on, like, the streets, and so they were kind of interviewing people, um, asking what they thought about it. Some people thought it was, like, so disruptive um, and most people just thought it was so cool. They were performing their Let It Be album for the very first and very last time for a live performance and it was just a really like cool thing to see and like the audio was great. They did such a great job like refurbishing or whatever you want to call it the video um, and it was just like you were there. Like it was better than if you were there to be honest because most people didn't even get to see them since they were on the rooftop and like unless you were in one of the buildings like across from it, you couldn't really see them. So it was just a really neat thing that they captured for like the world to see. So I really loved it and I've been like re-listening to so much of um, my favorite Beatles music and like rediscovered some songs or discovered some songs that I never like really listened to before from that album like Dig a Pony. Oh my god I'm obsessed with that song. Like John Lennon's voice is like peak. <laughs> in that song I feel like and then um two of us is really good with him and Paul McCartney and anyway it's just neat if you're a Beatles fan um to watch that at least the last hour I would really recommend anyone watching it if they have Disney plus even if you don't like consider yourself a huge Beatles fan so that's been what I've been listening to um, and I still can't believe it's 2022 like I just don't know where time has gone but anyway um, I'm looking forward to this massage can't wait to relax and just so happy it's the weekend oh my gosh I look so creepy right now cuz I'm on a red light but um so I got out of my massage and I had like a million texts and a call from Alyssa and my massage was amazing. The lady who did it was like, oh my God, it was like the best massage of my life. I needed it so bad. Um, it was incredible. Um, but I had all these texts and stuff and I was like, oh God, like house drama for sure. And so one that we applied for today, which we haven't even toured yet, but we're just like applying to ones that seem like extremely promising now that we know how crazy it is. Um, she, the landlord got back to us and was saying that um, we're her first like priority, but that the current tenants aren't like, there's a health problem going on with their like family or something and so they're not like being responsive to her text in order to like get permission or whatever to show it to us so um the landlord was like updating us saying like you're my first priority applicant um but i can't give you a tour this weekend like unless something changes and so basically we're trying to like figure out what um like how long she's willing to wait to hear back because we would of course want to see it in person if possible and it's literally like minutes from where I live so I could see it like at a drop of a hat or at least do like a video or virtual tour which like isn't as great as an in-person but like really gives you a good idea like 
we found some that had a video tour um, and that helped basically like rule them out um, so that would give us like a lot of peace of mind um, and we are trying to use it also as leverage for the one that we applied for but he like ghosted us so because that one is still our top choice like even though we have a bad taste in our mouths about it now like it's still the perfect house for us for our needs and the price and just everything about it so we're hoping that that pushes that landlord to like take us more seriously or pick us or whatever like we just need answers from him um especially because we don't want to like go into this other one without knowing for sure our favorite one is off the table like if our favorite one's off the table like that changes a lot not that we would like just take this one sight unseen but it it's it's hard <laughs> it's a hard thing out there right now lots of competition so um yeah anyway i just hope that our favorite one gets back to us tonight or tomorrow at the latest and that we can see this other one in person because it seems really good but we just like want to be sure you know like it's where we're gonna live for a year at least so anyway happy progress but still like stressful on pins and needles and some of my like um relaxation definitely disappeared the second um i checked my phone but you know that's life and at least i had one hour of relaxation and it was like pure relaxation like it was the best massage like i said so anyway i can't wait to fill in my parents and i know my dad's gonna be so excited because he's been coming to all the tours with me and he just loves it so he's been my little house hunters buddy <laughs> a, total of one million... <laughs> a freaking legend in Jeopardy history, I'm only the fourth to do it in regular season. Wow. Amy, Amy, Amy. I've been reading this book um, that the guy I've been dating gave me for Christmas, and this is called Snow Falling on Cedars by Davidson, David Gutterson, and he said he read it in college and really loved it, and wow, this is a really really good book. It's a like court case drama type of thing, like a police drama sort of, um, but it's set during um, like Pearl Harbor. So I'm about halfway done and the author just like writes so like detailed I guess that it's just taking me a really long time but I'm really really enjoying this and it has way more drama and like complexity than I thought it would um so I'm really loving it um definitely let me know if you guys have read this and then for my book club this month we are going to read A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham and this book is out now so even if you don't have book of the month you can get it it was a like early release through them and my one coworker started reading this and said it's amazing so um if you read this in January you can participate in my live book club stream at the end of the month so this is a thriller and I can't wait to read that and then for my book of the month subscription this month I got two books because these just both sounded really interesting to me so I got Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson and to be honest I don't remember all of what these are about I just remember these seeming really really interesting um so that one I picked out and then the Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis I think this is like a period um yeah 1919 um which I don't typically read books like set 
like so far in the past. It's just not what I typically go for, but I thought both of those sounded good. So I have so many books I need to read and I did order two bookshelves for wherever I'm going to end up living. Um, I've been really wanting like a reading nook that is like my dream is to have a reading nook and um, whether it's in my room or like in like the family room or whatever um, and most of the houses we've been looking at have like a little room near the front entrance that could be a good like reading nook spot or if I just have like a cozy chair in my room um, and put a lamp there I think that would be really nice so I got two bookshelves don't know if both of them will be for books but I'm thinking they could be for books and my Legos because I can't wait to finally display my Lego masterpieces um, so that is going to be really really fun to set those up I I'm not going to take them out of the box or anything until I move um, and all the places that we're like potentially like gonna get have a move-in date of February 1st so that is right around the corner you guys um, and I just can't believe how much might change within the next few weeks but I'm very excited more hopeful than I was at the beginning of today and yeah so tomorrow um, my man is coming to visit and so we are going to like I'm probably not going to vlog really um, and we're I'm going to show him like the houses we're going to see the movie Licorice Pizza which has Alana Haim in it which I just cannot wait I can't wait to see her on the big screen and like all of the Haim sisters are in the movie as well and it's just really cool because um, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson has done a lot of their like recent music videos like I think maybe the past like five or six and so for them to be in a full motion picture is like crazy and I just can't wait to see it and Richard's been wanting to see it too so we're gonna go see that we're probably gonna go to our favorite Mexican restaurant which was my favorite Mexican restaurant now he absolutely loves it <laughs> of course and who knows what other nonsense we'll get up to but um, that'll be really nice and then on Sunday I really want to start like going through every single thing I own <laughs> and making sure I want to move it because well, I don't have to like empty out my entire room because at least for the time being like this will be somewhere I could come back to. Um, I don't want to move things that I don't use like I'd rather just get rid of it now than pay to move it or move it myself um, and all of that. So that is going to be kind of my weekend and I'm just feeling hopeful but also very stressed so I'm just gonna like read, relax, fall asleep and just have a really nice Saturday and hopefully no house drama over the weekend but there's just been house drama every single day so <laughs> I bet something will come up. Morning you guys, it's Saturday and I'm just finishing up getting ready. I cleaned my room for the most part. I just have like extra pillows that I use when I'm reading, but otherwise it is nice and clean. I'm so happy. Um, tomorrow I'm definitely going to be hardcore into decluttering and we got a tour set up for the house that we were accepted by that like it was uh, the landlord was waiting to hear back from the current tenants so we're gonna see that tomorrow and so we will probably know if we're signing for it tomorrow which is like crazy and super exciting um, and just like Ooh, it's just insane like I'm so so excited um, and I'm wearing one of my favorite sweaters this is one that I got from Abercrombie on Black Friday and I absolutely love it it I feel like it looks really really good for the price um, 
like Abercrombie isn't cheap, but it's just a really high quality like knit and I really like my makeup. I did more of like a warm tone, pinkyish, peachyish, peachyish type of look to go with the color scheme. And so I'm just doing some editing, um, waiting for Richard to get here and then we are going to have a fun day. I'm gonna show him the townhouses that are like our top two and yeah, so. Can't wait to see him and yeah so i'll talk to you guys later morning you guys it's sunday morning and i've been really productive this morning i'm about to get ready <laughs> so i look a little rough but um i started my like clothing bedroom clean out um and those are going to be separate videos so i did both of my dressers and next i'll do my closet but i'm either going to do that later today hopefully later today but i have a house tour in about an hour and a half ish so i just wanted to not be like rushing the declutter um, because I know the closet's gonna take me quite a while. Um, so I'm going to get ready for the house tour. Super excited about that because it's the one we've already been accepted for. So if everything looks good and the answers to all of our questions are positive, <sighs> I think I think it might be the one. So and I can't wait to tell you guys about all the crazy shit we've seen in houses. Like, I want to see, like, all the houses and make a decision. Like, I don't want to go into all of it until we make a decision because I'm sure if I tour more houses, I'll find more crazy shit. So, um, I can't wait to talk to you guys about that. But I swear, all my life is now is researching like stuff on Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads, Apartments.com, um, Remax, like literally every website, and then contacting landlords or real estate agents, like never hearing back because they just like rarely get back to us, I feel like, and then driving past houses, like that's all I do, it's just like drive past houses. So today we're gonna do the tour and either before or after, depending on how much time we have before, um, we found at least one more house nearby that seems really promising and Alyssa was like the first person to contact after it was listed. So we're hopeful about that because it's like, even bigger um, with a two car garage, which would be awesome. And I'm pretty sure that one, did that one have a fence? No, that one didn't have a fence. I've looked at so many, like just in the past few hours, <laughs> I'm getting them confused, but um, yeah. So I think I'm just going to sit down, do my makeup, watch some YouTube or Ted Lasso or something. I'm on the second season of Ted Lasso and it's so good. Um, and yeah. I am just crazed, you guys. I can't wait till all of this is like squared away. So then I can just be like, okay, here's the plan. Like I'm a very plan oriented person. So this is like really hard for me, but yeah, we'll see what happens and I'll keep you posted on the tour today. House update. Oh my God, it's been so chaotic over the past two hours. Um, me and my dad drove past a few houses before the tour, got to the tour 15 minutes early, and the like landlord was just arriving as well. So we went in, the current tenants were there, which like is fine, but it was like, they have kids and stuff like that. So it was like crowded in this house. Like it wasn't crowded, but like it was hard and weird. Like I didn't want to open all their like closets and stuff like that. They told me it was fine. So then I felt better, but like, I don't like looking through someone's personal stuff, you know? I don't know. But anyway, it was really, really good. Some negatives, of course. Um, and then during our tour, which was kind of like a self-guided tour, um, like the landlord started doing like a virtual tour with someone else. Like I was on my phone with Alyssa showing her and then the landlord starts showing it to someone else and then I couldn't barely talk to her when I was leaving like I 
I talked to her like just briefly about like okay like for next steps like what do you need from us and stuff and then as I was leaving another couple was walking in to do a tour and I was like oh my god so I got like super panicky I was like freaking out I was like oh my god like we're not even gonna get this one like it's just so insane and so stressful and so me and Alyssa have been on the phone for like an hour talking about the pros and cons talking about another house that just came on the market today that we drove past before the tour and it was like so nice but we don't know if they allow pets um and what was the other thing we don't know the like available date because the website said immediately but then when Alyssa contacted the real estate agent, they were like, we can't even do a showing until later this week because the current tenant is there. And so we're like, like they have to agree upon a time for him to not be there. So it's like, it's clearly not available immediately if he's like actively living there, you know? So that's kind of weird. Um, but it seems like it would have everything we want. And um, there's like an HOA that the like owner pays for and it would take care of like the lawn and stuff like that which is not something at the house we toured today but pretty sure we're gonna put a deposit on the one that we toured um because it was really good oh she's just um Oh my god, if you decide to rent the house, I will prepare a leasing agreement and we can meet for signing and make payment for a security deposit. So that would be the next steps for that one that we saw today. And it was like really good. Like the main living space was like creme de la creme. Like it wasn't super modern or anything, but the flow was good. Really good natural light. Um, there would be a space at the front of the house for like my reading nook. Like it is just like there's a lot that makes me happy about this house but then there's like cons as well um so but i'm pretty confident about it Alyssa seems more hesitant like she wants to wait to see what else comes on the market but i'm like oh my god like this has been so stressful and it's only been a week like i don't want to prolong it if we found somewhere like that pretty much checks all the boxes like there's like the um driveway is really steep but like that's not a big enough thing for me to not want it and we would have to mow the lawn but the current tenants that live there said so and so down the street like we'll do it for 30 bucks so that's always a fallback if like we don't want to do it ourselves which we might like it in the end i don't know but <laughs> i feel pretty good about this one i would rather have the move-in date February 1st like it would be for this and just like have that time to like like to start packing like I'm ready to go like I feel mentally ready and so I just want to get this over with basically like not get it over with but like move on to the next step because I'm like ready for that next step like I've already started like cleaning and decluttering for moving so I'm like I just want to like get on with it you know so we might be signing a lease today or early this week i don't know but holy shit it's kind of like crazy oh my gosh you guys what a day what a day what a day thankfully we heard back from both places that we were like frantic about today um so we applied for the other one and the one that we toured today she has other applicants but we're still her top consideration so she is giving us a few days to before we have to like fill out any paperwork with her so oh, that is like a huge sigh of relief because we were like if we have to put a deposit today and we're not touring the other one till later this week it will be like such crunch time and like so stressful because a lot of money will be on hold if um or lost if we take too long to decide so anyway we feel like like a little bit better we're still like stressed um but we're excited we have two really great options right now so um that feels really great but um i just can't wait till all this is over and um i just can't 
like say that enough. Also, I changed because I'm going over to Richard's house and I wore that sweater yesterday. <laughs> when he was here so I changed um so it doesn't look like I only have one um sweater but anyway <laughs> um I'm going to wrap up the vlog here of course I will keep you guys posted on the house hunt and it's been really fun to do this even though it's like really like high stress high anxiety um like big decisions but it's still like fun I think and I'm so glad I'm doing it with my best friend and like my dad's been so involved and so has my mom but um she's just like really busy because she works and my dad is retired so <laughs> my dad's been able to help me a lot um which has been nice so anyway I will let you guys go and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and if you're going through a house hunting process let me know Whew, the stories we could tell, like, I can't even believe what I have experienced just in the past week alone. So anyway, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!